In this snippet, we're going to look into another type of heuristic. Actually, that is not completely true. We will write labeling functions again. But this time with some twist. We're going to build lookup list based labeling functions. If you remember from the snippet about manual labeling, we span labeled some expressions that were typical for clickbait and some country related spans. Why did we do so? Whenever we create an extraction task label, a lookup list is built in the background. As soon as you label spans, they will be listed here. Let me show you an example. We are currently on the heuristics overview page. We can now jump into the lookup list section over here. As you can see, we have two lookup lists with some entries. Let's look into the one named expression. Those are entries we have labeled manually. This is not only helpful for getting an overview, but can actually be used for automation. As you can see at the top, the list contains a characteristic called Python variable. We can actually import that list in our labeling functions. Let's see how that works, for which we go back to the heuristics overview page. Let's create a new labeling function. I have seen some expressions that are very much related to clickbait. So let's try to implement that. We are going to import the lookup list from a module called knowledge, which contains all our lookup lists. As already seen, the name of the list is expression. Now we can just write a function that loops over those terms. We are going to lowercase everything to increase the coverage. Also, as mentioned, our textual attributes are spacey tokenized, so we need to call dot .text to convert the data to an actual string. By the way, this is one of the most recurring forms of simple labeling functions. We are building a GitHub repository with common templates where you can see further labeling function types, including ones for span labeling. You can exit it via the see templates function button over here. Now let's execute this function. Okay, the results are great. We can definitely use this for our weak supervision integration. Also, what is really great about lookup list based labeling functions is that you don't need to adapt the code anymore. Instead, you can just maintain the function by adding further entries to your lookup list. That's it for now. In the next snippet, we will look into weak supervision.